Siok is a teenage boy who's sick and tired of his life. Everyone looks at him with hate and disgust due to his appearance. Even his father decided to buy milk and never came back because he couldn't look at his face. However, after shedding tears for so many years, Siok suddenly woke up as the most attractive guy in the world. Park Hyung Siok lives his life being bullied by his overweight and short appearance, with people labeling him as a loser. He is frequently humiliated in his school and physically abused by one of the students. He's forced to act and sound like a dog and pig, and will be beaten again if he doesn't do it perfectly. Apart from his unfortunate situation, he also lives in a shabby house where his single mother raises him. Sick and tired of the unfair treatment, he asks his mom if he can transfer to another school, and reasons that he can't get good grades from his current one. But since his mom struggles financially, she indirectly declines his request. Seok's day is just like any other when bullies do their thing again, and end up punching him in the stomach. His mom arrives and stops the commotion. She hits the bully for hurting her son, but people around them start to whisper and talk negatively about Seok. He's embarrassed by it, so he stops his mom by swearing to her and apologizing to the bully. Siok gets home feeling bad for what he has done to his mom, who only wants to protect him. Just as he's about to apologize, his mother tells him he's moving to another school so he can start over. He transfers to his new home, where he has high hopes for a fresh start. While traveling in the city, he bumps into a girl. When he's about to apologize, the girl quickly says sorry to him. It's a new experience for him and he's relieved to see that it's not the same harsh environment as before. He is so set on reinventing himself that he attempts to smile confidently. Siok smiles at the girl, but the guy accompanying her notices it. He confronts and accuses him of being a pervert and punches him publicly. While he's being beaten into a pulp, countless cameras are flashing around him. He gets home and discovers that he's all over the news on social media, with people calling him a pig. He puts down his phone and pities his situation until he falls asleep. He wakes up in the middle of the night and as he looks in the mirror, the moonlight shines on him, and he sees an unfamiliar yet attractive face staring at his reflection. Out of disbelief, he touches his face and body and realizes it's his own. He quickly returns to his room, where he sees his real overweight body on the floor. He slaps his body and wakes up as the fat dude again. He's relieved to see his chubby arms again and thinks it's a scary yet happy dream. But when he's about to sleep, he shouts out of terror as he sees the attractive guy sleeping next to him. He tries to wake up the sleeping man, only to switch back into his body. When Siok arrives at school the following day, everyone talks about his attractiveness. They look at him as if he is a celebrity. He walks to his room, where the students look at him admirably. And so, he introduces himself for the first time with a smile on his face. There he sees the same girl and guy from the previous day. The guy introduces himself as Jin Siong. Although he's shaking inside, he introduces himself as well while thinking that Jin Seong doesn't recognize him. While walking home, he notices a job posting for the night shift at a convenience store. The owner immediately hires him despite having no experience and offers him a high salary. However, he reasons that it's not for him but for his friend, his other self. Back to his original body, the owner treats him differently than his attractive self and hires him with a lower salary. He thinks that whenever he falls asleep, he switches to the other body, which can be forcefully awakened. Jin Seong and some guys enter the convenience store. He grabs some items and forces him to pay for them so he can be forgiven for the last incident. While Seok nervously stands at the counter, Jin Seong reads his nameplate and gets irritated when he has the same name as the one in his class. He gets angry and beats him up on the counter again, and the group takes a picture of him half-naked and bruised. They threaten that his photos will go public if he reports them. When they leave, Siok falls to the floor and cries as he remembers all his trauma again. The next day, Siok hears his colleagues talk about the pictures they took yesterday. They continue to ridicule and call him a pig. They even bring up his mother and insults her, so he clenches his fist and interferes in the conversation. He says they shouldn't talk badly about the mother, but Jin Siong is displeased. Jin Seong stands up and picks a fight with him. Seok dodges his first punch and follows by another. The room is surrounded by students watching them. When he's cornered to the locker, he gets nervous as there's no way he can avoid the attack. But surprisingly, he's able to hold his fist and stop him. As the cameras flash around them, his memories of abuse and hardships flash. The insults he got from people also start to echo. His anger piles up, and when Jin Seong lunges at him, he raises his fist and punches him on his stomach which knocks him to the ground. 
In the next day, Seok chases a guy stealing from the convenience store and is forced by a gang into a fight against the thief. Luckily, he's saved by a tall and intimidating guy named Basco. Seok gets to know that the thief Jai Ho is his classmate and was bullied and forced by the gang to steal and run errands. The next day, Seok finds out Basco is the leader of a gang. In the middle of the conversation, Basco entered the cafeteria and approaches him with a grim look. Seok gets nervous and tries to talk about yesterday making Basco get enraged, thinking that he's the leader of those bullies. Seok apologizes to him and excuses that he mistook him for someone he had seen the previous day. Seok's bully classmates approach him and ask him if he wants to drink, which he accepts. However, he drinks so much that he passes out drunk. He wakes up to his original body and rushes toward the other body's location. There he meets again his classmates who bullied him in the convenience store, but they let him go as he claims to be Seok's friend thinking that he belongs to a gang. While carrying his other self on his back, Jin Seong and the gang see a boxing arcade machine. Suddenly, Jin Seong teaches him the basic stance of a boxer. The next day, Seok returns from school and finds his mother staring at his sleeping body. Even in shock, he introduces himself as his roommate and friend, and tells her that Seok is resting because he's working a night shift. She's glad to know that his son has a new friend and wants to get to know him more. The two go to a coffee shop, and she refuses to buy a coffee because of the price, but he insists. During the conversation, his mother can't stop talking about Hyung Seok and asks how her son is doing. She's worried about him, so he assures her that he's getting along with his friends. He suddenly remembers how he treated his mother before out of frustration. When they're about to leave, his mother asks Baim Yi, who turns out to be working there, if she can take the boxes on the door with her. He learns that his mother works two jobs because he needs money for school. She collects scraps for a living, and he worries about her. As she leaves, she gives him money to pay for the coffee she ordered. Basco approaches him and takes him to a construction site. Basco urges him to fight as he's mistaken for bullying Siok. He's confused about what's happening, and when he's still processing things, Basco lunges at him but he avoids his attacks. He gets attacked again and does nothing but dodge all of it. He asks him what it's all about. Basco orders him to give him the money his mother gave him earlier. He begins to think Basco is no different from his previous bullies. When Basco attacks him again, he tries to punch him but blocks it. Suddenly, he remembers what Jin Seong taught him, so he positions himself in a boxing stance and prepares to beat him but Basco dodges his attack. Luckily, he spins around and uses his elbow to knock him out. Seok is back to his night shift and Basco enters the convenience store with a patch on his face. He approaches him and apologizes for not getting the money back. He's puzzled about what he's talking about, but to his surprise, he buys him a yogurt drink and says he's not weak. He just needs to train. When Basco leaves, Seok tries to work out, but in the middle of his struggle, a beautiful lady walks in and sees him. Out of embarrassment, he apologizes to her. Surprisingly, she smiles at him and even buys him a drink, wishing him good luck on his training. Something that won't happen to any of us. Seok and Jai Ho become close friends. While walking down the hall, he sees a student from the vocal dance class being bullied by other students. Without hesitating, he approaches the bully, whose name is Ho Bin. After the bullies leave, Seok tries to help the bullied student stand up, but he refuses to take his hand and walks away. Back on his night duty, the woman from before enters the shop and greets him. She asks if he's still doing the workout and smiles when he answers yes. He's stunned by her beauty that he can't help but blush. In the cafeteria, Seok witnesses the Ok HWA being bullied again. As he cannot watch another person being hit like he was before, he rushes to them. The bullies prepare to fight Seok, but end up leaving after Basco appears. Basco asks Seok why he tried to save and he replies that he couldn't watch him being bullied without doing anything. Still, Basco doesn't believe him and leaves him with a threat. Seok checks if Diok HWA is okay, but he doesn't answer and leaves him as usual. However, he notices a crumpled paper on the ground. He reads it and learns it's a torn application form for a performance at a festival. The following day, he hands Diok HWA the form he taped together. Instead of being happy, Diok HWA angrily shouts at him and says he should stop acting nice. He accuses him of only doing it so he can get famous. He adds that he's treating him that way so he can make fun of him later. Siok asks Hanul about the festival. She explains and encourages him to join as she believes he can win the first prize. He heads back to the room, and while cleaning, Hanul's motivation echoes in his mind. No one has ever said that to him before, so there's no way he can perform on stage. The idea of him performing makes his heart flutter. He spends so much time alone that he can only comfort himself by singing. 
He sheds a tear when he recalls his mother's praise of his voice, which he ignored at the time. He looks at Diak Hwa's form and thinks it's important to him. Like him, he sings when he's unhappy and in pain too. After finishing the song, he's surprised to find Diak Hwa standing behind him. He's shocked to see his bruised and crying face, so he hands him the form again. However, he's even more startled when Diak Hwa asks him to perform with him at the festival. Diak Hwa invites Siok to his house to practice their song. Siok is amazed by Diak Hwa's talent in composition. The two continue to practice while Jai Ho serves as their audience. Siok is improving, but Diak Hwa reminds him not to overwork his vocal cords. Siok practices 24-7 with his two bodies. While singing at his duty, the beautiful lady hears him again and gives him throat lozenges for his practice. He thanks her for being nice to him, and she wishes him good luck. Later, he's surprised to see Jai Ho and Diak Hwa entering the store. Since it's Diak Hwa's first time meeting him with that body, he introduces himself. All three share their experiences with bullying. Their high life is ruined because of what they're going through. Diok HWA constantly gets bullied in his class, while Jai Ho is an errand boy. The two find out that Seok also suffers the same things and shares his experiences. Jai Ho suddenly brings up Seok's other persona, claiming that meeting him changed the course of his life, and Diok HWA agrees. His popularity and good appearance led many to distrust his kindness because of his looks and popularity. Hearing their words melts Siok's heart, and he thanks them mindlessly. They're interrupted by Basco, who asks them if everything they said about Siok is true. They attest that he's a good guy, but he brings up that one time when he caught him extorting money from Siok's mother. But the misunderstanding is finally clarified. The practice for their performance is going well, and both Diok HWA and Jai Ho are amazed at how Hyung Siok got better quickly. With hope in their hearts, they believe they can conquer the performance at the festival. The school festival comes, and Siok sees the beautiful woman from the convenience store walking around the campus. He runs after her, but she mistakes him for hitting up on her just because of his good looks. She's not as nice as how she treats him with his other body, and that's when he realizes it's his first time meeting her with his attractive body. When she's about to leave, he tries to stop her, but the guy she's with grabs his arm. He commands him to step back, but despite his firm grip, he gets away with it. However, the guy follows it with a strong kick which causes him to fall to the ground. Suddenly, Basco appears, telling the guy that Siok is his friend. When the guy is going to hit them, the woman stops him. She apologizes to them for getting hurt before leaving. After settling in, Basco does something out of the ordinary and offers him a drink. After saying his farewells, he hurries off to the venue where their concert will take place. It's their turn to perform. Siok is overwhelmed by the large audience in front of him and messes up the first note. He gets embarrassed, and the crowd starts to whisper about him. As the atmosphere on stage begins to sour, Diok HWA breaks into rap and immediately wins over the crowd. He watches him as he sings from the depths of his soul. He inspires him and remembers what he said a while ago. The first person he thinks of is his mother, who has been his biggest fan ever since. When it's finally his turn, he sings freely, leaving the crowd astonished by his voice. As he sings, he recalls all the ups and downs of his life and reconnects with his inner self. He gives his best during the performance, and the two win the competition. After their performance, a guy from a music label approaches them and commends their talents. The Ock HWA is ecstatic and grateful for the opportunity. Still, their conversation is cut short when he offers his business card to Siok. Siok notices how disappointed Diok HWA is and turns it down. Switching to his other body, he meets Jai Ho and Diok HWA in their usual hangout place. They watch the video of their performance where Diok Hwa's scenes are cut out. However, he says it's okay and will keep writing good songs. Siok encourages him and wholeheartedly says that people intensely feel their emotions through their music. We then see the beautiful girl from before, who watches the performance and realizes Siok is the guy from the store revealing she also has a second overweight body. Siok wakes up to his other body and takes care of the other while he sleeps. He gets ready for school and puts a smile on his face before facing a new bright day ahead. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.